हाय फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल मैवरिक मरीनर दिस चैनल इज डेडिकेटेड टू ऑल द मरीन इंजीनियर्स गिविंग देयर एमईओ कॉम्पिटेंसी एग्जाम्स आई विल गाइड यू थ्रू वेरियस टॉपिक्स इन माय अपकमिंग वीडियोस स्टे ट्यून्ड लेट अस सी अबाउट एमएलसी 2006 टाइटल 5 टाइटल 5 इज कंप्लायंस एंड एनफोर्समेंट देयर आर सर्टेन रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशंस अंडर कंप्लायंस एंड एनफोर्समेंट टाइटल 5 regulation 5.1 what is the flag state's responsibility flag state has to make sure that ship flying their flags have mlc 2006 on them the clauses of the flag state are mentioned in dmlc part 1 these clauses are in accordance with the guidelines of mlc 2006 regulation 5.1.2 authorization of ro flag is not present everywhere so flag authorizes ro to enforce mlc guidelines on their ships but flag also limits their power ro can only perform service flag authorizes ro to perform service report the findings to the flag then the flag will assess all the documents and then the flag will issue the certificate so basically ro will perform the service and flag will issue the certificate dmlc part 1 what is dmlc dmlc stands for declaration of maritime labor compliance this is a document which is attached with the main mlc certificate it is endorsed by the flag this document is drawn by the competent authority here the competent authority is the flag state the document has list of matters or the clauses it is the list of clauses which are supposed to be fulfilled so that mlc guidelines are enforced on the ship the clauses to be followed are listed in the document one by one now i will show you a sample document the document will have the name of the ship then the imo number of the ship then the cross tonnage here if you see you will find the clauses as i mentioned before the list of the clauses here they are mentioned see the minimum age of the seafarer medical certification requirement uh, qualification of the seafarer this list will go on it's a extensive list this you will find on board your ship which will be attached with the main mlc certificate this is a sample copy of dmlc part 2 dmlc part 2 is the owner's declaration that we are following requirements as per dmlc part 1 procedures are written to ensure compliance of mlc 2006 guidelines these procedures will be written under these points 1 2 3 4 and the list goes on this dmlc declaration is attached to the mlc certificate for example the procedures in minimum age requirements date of birth of crew member will be written in the crew list then this crew list will be verified i repeat crew list verified in every voyage then the young seafarers duty times are mentioned so these are certain ways in which uh the flag or uh, sorry the ship owner make sure that mlc guidelines are followed now what is mlc certificate and when is it required so a new certificate is required when a ship owner takes a new delivery that is he has built a new ship and now it is being delivered 
when there is change of owner there is a existing ship and it is taken over by some other owner that time you will require a new mlc certificate or for existing ship there is change of flag if the owner decides that he should register the ship somewhere else for example earlier the ship is registered in panama and now the ship is supposed to be registered in marshall islands then a new mlc certificate is required this mlc certificate the main mlc certificate is not issued directly and interim certificate is issued by the flag and this is valid for 6 months then it is rather in those 6 months we have to undergo various surveys these surveys will be pertaining to guidelines of mlc 2006 on completing the survey successfully the flag issues mlc certificate now this main certificate is valid for 5 years what i earlier um, earlier mentioned this dmlc 1 and 2 it is attached with the main mlc certificate the main mlc certificate is valid for 5 years the certificate is subjected to intermediate survey renewal survey and additional survey if required this intermediate survey is carried out in between second and third anniversary it is carried out in between these two anniversary dates a renewal survey it is an extensive survey similar to intermediate survey but here the main difference is a new certificate is issued a new mlc certificate is issued additional survey is required when there is a major change in the mlc compliance procedures so basically now let us see what are the contents so contents of the mlc certificate here you will find ship details ship details will be imo number the uh, the name of the ship where it is registered what is the gross tonnage of the ship then the name and the address of the owner then you will find date of issue and date of expiry of the certificate then what you will find is on the next page what you will find is there will be a space where an intermediate survey date will be mentioned plus this will be endorsed by the surveyor who is performing the intermediate survey how is the mlc certificate issued always remember main mlc certificate is not issued directly first interim certificate is issued then main certificate is issued now how do we get the interim certificate ship owner will have to apply to the flag that he wants a mlc certificate flag will issue dmlc part 1 and dmlc part 2 to the ship owner he will directly issue dmlc part 1 and part 2 dmlc part 1 will have the flag requirements dmlc part 2 will be owner's declaration that how they are following the clauses in part 1 so ship owner will now have to fill the dmlc part 2 as far as possible as far as possible then the ship owner will invite ro for survey you remember ro was been authorized by some powers by the flag one of them was inspections that is surveys ro will be a class surveyor who will come and do the inspections as required the class surveyor will assess class surveyor will assess whether owner is able to demonstrate mlc compliance whether the owner is able to demonstrate mlc compliance then the ro will inform the flag of any exemptions and exceptions once ro is satisfied he informs flag in writing he will give an report to the flag saying that the owner is able to display mlc compliance on this 
basis the flag will assess the documents and then the flag will issue interim certificate which will be valid for six let us see the procedure how do we change from interim certificate to main mlc certificate the owner will completely fill dmlc part 2 that is the owner will establish procedures that will make sure that mlc guidelines are followed in each and every clause as mentioned in dmlc part 1 findings from the ro surveyor in the earlier survey are incorporated in the procedures which are written in dmlc part 2 now the ship owner will send a copy of dmlc part 2 for review he will send the copy to ro meanwhile ship owner will also invite ro ro for surveys once ro is satisfied with the provisions in dmlc part 2 and the exemptions will be noted i repeat the exemptions will be noted ro forwards all these documents to the flag now the flag will assess the documents flag will finalize dmlc 1 and dmlc 2 once all the documents are finalized and m uh, sorry a uh, mlc certificate is issued this is the main mlc certificate main mlc certificate is issued along with the endorsed copies of dmlc part 1 and part 2 attached with it so when you find a ship uh, sorry on board if you find mlc certificate you will find attached copies of dmlc 1 and dmlc 2 with these will be kept together let us see what are exceptions some rules as mentioned in mlc can be changed as per flag requirements flag rules which are different than mlc but these rules when applied can still achieve mlc goals and objective these are exceptions these are mentioned in dmlc part 1 and equivalent for the above exceptions is noted in the part 2 this is a very basic sketch of mlc certificate I'll explain it again over here. MLC certificate will have attached copies of DMLC part 1 and part 2. DMLC part 1 will be issued by flag. It will have a set of clauses to comply with MLC 2006 guidelines. DMLC part 2 is owner's declaration. It will have written procedures to follow. I hope you have liked the video. Stay tuned. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon and never miss your updates and please comment for any suggestions. Thank you.